So hello everybody and welcome to another Power Week. It means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update. This time it is for November 2021. And they have done tons and tons of updates to Power BI desktop. So we're going to cover everything here. Let's get started. Okay, the first major update they have done is the format pane. So no more double scrolling. The toggle I have been smaller so you can see more text, easier to find, highlights when you search, tons and tons and tons of updates that I will do a separate video about. But you, it is on preview, you need to tick on the preview box to get it. Give it a go, give them feedback and let's get the ball rolling. This is a really, really nice. We really needed an update. The second update is about page navigation and bookmark navigation. It takes a long time to create the page navigation. They have improved it a little bit. This is another improvement. The news, the good news about this is you have a button that will do page navigation. You click on it, it will create the buttons for you. The titles of the buttons will update when they update. The ordering of the buttons will change when you change the pages on the report. The selected button is the current page. And then as you add or remove pages, the navigation will update by itself, which is so, so wonderful. Now, with bookmarks, you need to create the bookmarks yourself first, obviously, because there are so many options that they don't know what, what you want. But once you create the navigation, it's creating the bookmark navigation is a lot easier. The same thing that I said about page navigation applies to bookmark navigation. They are also improving the visuals, which is really, really good news. The first thing that they've done is that if you... You can now sort the, the order of the legend, but not only that, if you sort the order of the legend, it will sort the order on the visual itself. You can see it on the GIF uh, next to me. It will work for most charts, including the column chart, the line chart. So, really good news. To text formatting, we have new options now. We have bold, italic, and underline. And with the new pin navigation, uh, you have everything compressed in, in like a small box, which is really, really neat. With the old one, you will have to scroll still, so change the new one and give it a go and see how it works. Pie and donut chart rotation. I'm not really happy about this because I don't think it's like a best practice. So here's the thing. When you're creating a pie chart, sometimes your text gets like Crumbled, so you can't really see anything. What they've added is the possibility to rotate the pie chart so the text aligns better. I think pie charts are hard to read. I think they should start in order, like the ascending or the descending, so at least you have a chance to know which one is bigger because otherwise it's quite hard. If you start rotating them, that would not even be possible. I would not recommend doing that, but give it a go. The scorecard visual made it to Power BI Desktop. We knew that from Ignite, so it is not there. And it's because organizations ask to have the scorecard visual integrated with the report. So it is in there, it's in preview, I think. So give it a go and let the team know what you think about it. And now big maps, I said that on my Ignite video, big maps, is going to go away by default. You have to turn it on. So if you see that in your old reports, your map is not working anymore, probably somebody at the, at the tenant level has disabled that. You need to be able to either change the map or ask them to turn it on. Just remember that. Now, Charticulator made it to the Power BI desktop blog. Yay! So here's the thing. There is a new version of Charticulator if you don't know what Charticular is, it allows you to create custom visuals without writing any code. And you can do things like, what you know, what is popping in there? I did that, so it's really cool. So if you haven't tried Charticulator, give it a go. It's absolutely fantastic. And if you want to have Charticulator integrated in the tool, it is a Microsoft Design Visual. Just go down there, go to the Ideas link, click on it so we get it on Power BI, okay? Do it. Do it. Now, one of the most devoted connectors to get it was Google Sheet, and guess what? It is here. It is finally here. So go and give it a go. If you find any issues, let the Power BI team know. So on Power BI service, there have been some improvements in the data, data Hub experience. So now when you create a report from a data set, you can actually, when you save it, 
check or select which workspace you want to save it on, which is a nice improvement. Azure, Azure Lockbox support for Power BI has been added. It means that it allows you to grant access to Microsoft engineers to your data if needed. Most of the time, the engineers don't need your data, but if they do, you cannot grant access to the underlying data source. More updates on Power BI goals. The first one is that now you can select who sees a goal. So if a goal is just for app management, you can set uh, permissions for that only. Another one is you can move goals around. So if that goal now belongs to another department, you can just move it instead of deleting or recreating it again, which is quite nice. There are some fields that might not be optimal for all organizations, and you can hide all the fields for goals if that don't apply to you. And Power Automate has been integrated with Power BI goals, which to me makes all the sense of the world. So really nice update. So another one, automatic page refresh now supports direct query for Power BI datasets and Azure Analysis Services. And last but not least for the mobile, now you can create QR codes with page filtering. So when they scan that, they go to a filter report, which is really nice. And not only that, they have improved the filter pane so you can actually see what filters have been applied more clearly. So this is all for today. Now, which one is your favorite update? So for me, it has to be the page navigation because we use it all the time, right? And the old one, it was a little bit hard to work with. So there are, there are no double um, scroll bars. You have like uh, global navigation or global formatting options and visual formatting options. There's a ton of updates that will make it easier for us seasoned users and new users to work with Power BI. So it is great news. Love that they are updating the desktop. And uh, let's see what else they do in common updates. Now let me know again what is your favorite update and I will see you again very soon.